Of oh, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Now last time we've been playing with uh, a specific character trying to do a normal run. This time around I feel like we have to... Like, we really have to do a challenge run because we haven't been doing one of those... We haven't done a challenge run for a really long time. And I feel like that's just unfortunate. So let's try to take all of these uh, one by one. Let's play Peach Black again. It's been a while since we've played Peach Black. Curse of Dar that means we'll get a Curse of Darkness for the entire game. So the seed for this game is 4YK02JJD. I don't know if it's telling you the seed even helps because I don't know if you can if you can input a seed for challenge for challenge ones. Okay, so we get Myosotis for Game Me Not. Let's see what Myosotis does. So Myosotis is a trinket and added in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Its effects are that it spawns pickups left on a previous floor in the starting room of the current floor. A maximum of four pickups can be spawned though. The previous floor status of trinkets can be reset by picking them up and dropping them again, allowing multiple other trinkets to be carried between floors. <coughs> uh, trinkets that were left in the treasure or bathroom still transform into a cracked key during the ascent, potentially allowing you to gain large amounts of cracked keys. Spawns pickups on the first floor if uh, our key was used. Does not bring pickups from error rooms. Interesting. I don't know how useful this is. I don't think it's that useful, honestly. But I could be wrong. Let's uh, get rid of all of this shit. Damn, the Curse of Darkness effect is really fucking annoying. Ah, I forgot, you can't see your health either. Oh, this is bullshit. Okay, so we're playing as Isaac, that means we have three hearts in total. We have to remember our own health manually. The game won't tell us what our health is. That's so bullshit. I really hate that effect, of course, of darkness. Okay, so we took one damage, two damage, so that means we're down to two hearts of health. Is this over? Is the floor done? No, it's not. There's still one fucker over there. This time we get Paperclip, Master of Lockpicking. What does Paperclip do? So Paperclip is a trinket. It, its effect is that it allows Isaac to unlock lock chests without using keys. Lock doors, key blocks and mega chests still require keys though. In addition to regular trinket drop sources, Paperclip can be obtained as a possible reward from key masters. And also an effect it has uh, since uh, after birth is that Cain starts with this trinket after donating 68 coins to, to the greed donation machine. Interesting. You know what? No, I think uh, Myosotis is a better trinket just because uh, we will also be getting keys as, uh, from the pickups of the previous floor. So I think it, and it's even more general. So I think that's a better item. What the hell is this? Acid baby, pills, pills, pills. What does acid baby do? Does it spawn pills? Acid baby is a passive item added in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. It spawns a familiar that drops random pills. An effect it had since... Uh, no, an effect it had up until Repentance it was that acid baby drops a pill every three cleared rooms. The first drop happens after two rooms. But an effect it has since Repentance is that Acid Baby drops a pill every 7 cleared rooms. That's more than double, goddammit. The first drop happens after 6 rooms. Upon using a pill, all enemies in the room will be poisoned. An effect it had up until Repentance was that the poison lasts for 2 ticks. An effect it has since Repentance is that the poison lasts for 6 ticks. Enemies also take 10 additional damage. And also, another effect it has since Repentance is that this item belongs to the conjoined set. Collecting free items from this set will transform Isaac into a free-faced version of himself. Interesting. Okay, let's let's make this work. 
I'm usually not a fan of builds, especially when I'm not playing as Kane, but uh, maybe this will be interesting. Who is there? Let's visit the... Uh, do I wanna visit the curse room? Yes, let's visit the curse room. The curse room is filled with spiders. So, once we'll exit this curse room, we'll be down to just one heart of health. That's atrocious. Oh, never mind. Oh, fuck. We might not be able to exit anymore anyway. Yeah, I fucking died. Okay, let's restart. That was fucking terrible. How did I take damage from a fucking spider? Are you kidding me? That usually doesn't happen. I guess I just didn't get any hearts from that floor. Okay, we're redoing. We're redoing because that just wasn't enough to qualify as a fucking run, I guess. I, I really wanted to see how Acid Baby would have worked. Like, that's a pretty good item in my books. Although, to be fair, we, we could have gotten bad pills as well since we're playing as Isaac. That's an, a trinket I've never seen before. Let's use a bomb to get to it. I'm curious to see what it does. Jawbreaker, didn't chew on it. So it's a trinket. Oh well, I knew it was a trinket before. So Jawbreaker is a trinket added in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. What it does is that it adds a 10% chance to fire teeth that deal 3.2 times Isaac's damage. Mechanically identical to the passive item Tough Love. The chance for this to occur increases with luck. The activation rate is equal to 1 divided by the difference between 10 and, and my luck. At base luck, which is 0, the chance is 10%, maxing out at 100% at 9 luck. This trinket is identical in function with Tough Love, so all interactions with that item apply to this trinket as well. Okay. You know what? This is a good trinket. I like this. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck you. I didn't know that the spikes could retract. Okay, so now we're down to two hearts worth of health. That's fine. I think we can make this work either way. Oh, fuck you. Get the fuck over here. What's in here? In here we get... This is a new item, I think. This is Giant Cell, which is Micro Friends. What the hell is Giant Cell? Let's find out. So, Giant Cell is a passive item added in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. What it does is that whenever Isaac takes damage, he summons a Micro Isaac familiar known as Mini Isaac Mini, Mini Mini that chases nearby enemies and attacks on its own. Mini Zach's deal, Mini Zach's deal 1.35 base damage that uh, scales with 0 0.15 per floor. So the high, the deeper you are into the game, the more damage they do. That's cool. Mini Zach shoot three tiers per second, and their tier delay is not affected by Isaac's stats. Mini Zach persists between rooms and floors. Each mini Zack is spawned with 15 health points and are constantly drained with a rate of 0.4 per second. The draining stops when they reach 0.8 HP. They are healed back to full HP whenever Isaac takes damage, even when the familiar even when the familiar's cap is reached. Enemies can damage mini Zacks by shooting projectiles at them or, or dealing contact damage. Isaac's bo bomb explosions will, al will also damage the familiars, and mini Zacks are immune to spikes and lasers. Interesting. I do not know how I feel about this. It sounds like a good effect for the most part. I guess we'll see. God, I really love all the items that Repent has introduced. Like, it added so much variety to the game. I have already played the Flash game since high school. And it was a quite a fun flash game, but uh, realistically, it wasn't like I've I've pretty much memorized the effects of all the items in it, in and all the trinkets, including the those from the Wrath of the Lamb expansion. 
So I was looking forward to repentance or to rebirth even. The, pro the issue with rebirth was that it was only available on, on Steam and not through GOG, so it had Steam's DRM in it, which I never really liked. But, with that said, now it is available on GOG, the Windows edition of the game anyways. Like if you want the Mac edition or the Linux edition, you still have to buy the game through Steam sadly. I'm not at all happy about that, but I guess the Windows edition is still better than nothing. So if you have Windows and you want to play this game in a DRM free manner, including without Steam's DRM scheme, you can buy this game off of GOG. I don't know if it's at a discount, I don't think it is, I guess it depends on when you on when you'll uh, try to buy the game, but uh, usually I don't think it's on a discount. So let's see if we can visit the secret room. I think we should, oh we do not have any bombs, never mind. Let's visit the boss. So the boss we'll be fighting on this floor is, is Gemini. This should be fairly straightforward. I, I really like Gemini. Gemini has become the monstro of uh, repentance. Because uh, usually monstro was the most common boss you would fight on the basement part 1 in the flash game. But now in rebirth, at least in repentance, Gemini seems to be the, the boss you fight most commonly. Although I will say that Gemini does feel a bit more difficult to defeat than Monstro. Fuck you. So I took damage, there's uh, there's Mini Zack helping me out. What the hell is this? A bar of soap, tears plus shot speed up. You know what, I like that. Let's move on. So we are already are past the 10 minute limit, so from this point on, when and if I will die, I will call it quits for this video. Hopefully I won't die. So Curse of Darkness in this version of the game does not actually prevent you from seeing the minimap as it did in the Flash version of the game. So that's interesting. What it does prevent you from seeing is your own health though. So that's... I will say that's even more annoying, but it's also a more effective effect, because in the past you could just m memorize the layout of the floor you're on, and uh, or you can even draw it on a piece of paper and it would have been fine. I guess you can do that too with your health nowadays, but uh, I mean you can keep track of your own health manually on a piece of paper, but that's a bit more annoying. What's this? Parasitoid. Egg tears. What does parasitoid do? Para parasitoid. So parasitoid is uh, a passive item added in the binding of Isaac uh, Afterbirth Plus. Its effect is that it adds a chance to fire an egg sac which spawns slowing creep. If an egg sac hits an enemy, one of one to two blue flies or blue spiders is spawned. Exact tears have uh, uh, before repentance two times Isaac's range and uh, after repentance two times tear height, which also increases effective range. Since repentance, this item belongs to the Belzebub set. Collecting three items from this set will transform Isaac into a giant humanoid fly. And also, since repentance, this item belongs to the Spider Baby set. Collecting three items from this set will transform Isaac into a humanoid spider. Egg sacs will also spawn blue flies or spiders if they hit a fireplace, if they hit fireplaces or invincible enemies like Death's Head and Stony. Also, the chance to fire an egg sac is affected by luck. It is 15% chance at 0 luck and maxes out at 50% at 5 luck. 
It is possible to create a large number of spiders and flies by repeatedly sh shooting a closed host. Interesting. I kinda like that. Okay, so that's a boss challenge room. So we have to deplete our own health to enter that. I do not know how I feel about that. Actually, I do. That, that, that doesn't sound that great. But I will... I think I will... Oh, fuck. I think I will go to uh, uh, attempt to get to the boss challenge room, but I, first I will need to find a self-sacrifice room to deal damage to myself, so that I can deplete my own health. Remember that I have, I am at full health right now, so I am I'm at three hearts worth of health, and uh, from three hearts of health, I I need to do. Two full hearts worth of health to be able to access the challenge room. Okay, so just doing basic math. Touching the spikes reduces me to reduces my health by one heart, so I need to walk over the spikes two times. I'm doing these calculations in my head, but at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters since we might not even get a self-sacrifice room on this floor to begin with, which would be quite terrible. What do we do now? Well, the floor is not done yet, so let's uh, go downwards now. Okay, so there's a cursed room, so there's a reliable way in which we can do damage to ourselves, which I'm really thankful for. Let's also access this. Oh, nice! We get a uh, uh, basement right now. And from the basement we have two items. One of them is a Dry Baby, which is Immortal Friend. Can we use a bomb on this? We cannot. How do we even get in there? Maybe we teleport or something. So let's see what Dry Baby does, because I forgot. It doesn't have a very suggestive name, so that you can figure out its effect by your, by your own. So Dry Baby is a passive item. Yeah, I figured out as much. It spawns a familiar that follows Isaac around and blocks enemy projectiles. Upon blocking a shot, it has a 10% chance of triggering the Necronomicon effect, dealing 40 damage to all enemies in the room. And an effect it has since Repentance is that this item belongs to the Conjoined set. Collecting free items from this set could transform Isaac into a free-faced version of himself. Cool. The Necronomicon effect can uh, occur multiple times in the same room. It can be used to block multiple shots if positioned correctly. Okay. Let's go in here. Yeah, nothing we can do with this. Let's take some more damage. We need to reduce our damage enough so that we will be able to visit the challenge room. There we go. That worked. And the challenge room contains Sintor, damage plus range up. That's quite cool. So if we take any damage on this room, I will use the strength card just to make sure that I prevent my own death. Because I do not want to risk it. Man, we're doing significant damage. I don't know what, how much damage a Sinfoil is. I guess I can look that up. But it seems like a significant uh, amount. Okay, I think uh, let's pick up some more uh, 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 health if we can. Oh no, we're already at full health. I should have figured that out by myself. We do not have the bombs necessary to access the secret room on this floor, so let's just move and fight the boss. This should be quite nice. So this time I'll only be painting against the Blighted Ovum. And the Blighted Ovum is not uh, an enemy you would expect to fight on Basement Bar 2, but whatever. We get Binky, which is a Tears Up. And the Deal with the Devil, that's cool. Now, the deal with the devil, I recognize both of those items. Those are the shovel and the guppy's tail. 
neither of which I'm interested in. I need to look up what Guppy Steel does again. Does it uh, replace chests with red chests? Or does it just increase your chance of, uh, of getting red chests? I forgot. Guppy Steel is a passive item. It grants a one-third of a chance of... Uh, a one for the uh, chance of replacing room clear awards with a chest or a locked chest, but also a two ninths chance to replace it with nothing at all. Huh. No, this only makes sense if I have a lot of. Uh, if I have a lot of, uh, of keys on me, because locked chests will require keys. So, no, I'm not picking any of those up. Fuck that noise. Okay, one now. Let's move on to the next floor, I guess. We're doing quite fine for ourselves. I think we're doing great, honestly. So we're now we're in the caves part one. Oh, those were both basements come. Ah, no, they, they were not both basements combined. I just played on two floors, two floors up until now. What am I saying? I forgot how many floors I've played on. Okay, so let's visit the challenge room because we are at full health right now, and we don't know how much will stay how for how much longer we'll stay at full health because I can take damage at any time. So we're we're doing the challenge room. This looks like a fairly easy thing to do, especially with my damage upgrade. Jesus Christ, Sintoil really is a very effective damage upgrade. I'm doing so much damage right now; it's insane. I don't know what's going on, but this is this feels very fucking nice. Like my damage feels very pleasant. Okay, let's look at my damage stat. My damage stat isn't that much increased. I don't know why I'm it feels like I'm doing so much damage. Let's move on. We've already been to the challenge room, so let's ignore that. We killed those fucking creatures in just one fucking goal. Like, just in a couple of seconds. That was amazing. What? What's giving me my huge damage? I guess Sintor was the only damage up I got throughout this entire game, right? Like, I did get a deal with the devil... Uh, last floor, but I didn't take any item from it because both items were pretty shitty. So those couldn't have been the cause. I didn't take any of them. So yes, yeah, Sintol is the only damage up I took this entire game. And I'm doing so well for myself. This Jesus Christ. I'm definitely enjoying myself. Okay, this is fine. So that was a mini boss room. And there can only be one mini boss room on a floor, so that's the only mini boss we'll encounter throughout this entire case one. Which is quite nice. Let's get some bombs. Oh shit, I just took damage from the stupidest way possible. Let's grab this. Oh fuck, how much health do I have? I fucking forgot. I'm not risking it. If I don't know how much health I have, the, the answer should be not enough to gamble my health away. I'm not risking that shit. Although I do need money, so I kind of want to give my health away on the blood, on the blood machine to gain some money. I'll see what's in the shop, then I'll consider it. If the shop has a really... Oh, nice, that's... Is that a nickel or a dime? Either way, I want it. We get the uh, Charm of the Vampire in the treasure room, which is damage up plus kills heal. I didn't know Charm of the Vampire also was a damage up. I don't think it was in the original game. I guess it is here now. easy and there's the boss room so we can advance on to the next floor we 
we've been through a lot but we didn't cover the entire floor just yet we still have to find a shop as well so here's the next room wait is the shop not connected to this room where is the shop did i not find a shop it has to be somewhere Wait, something is not right. Where is the shop on this floor? Is it up here? Is that the icon for the shop? No, this was a mini boss room. Did they re Does Curse of Darkness also mean you don't get shops on the, on the, on the floor you're on? What the fuck? If that's true, that's terribly shitty. What the hell is this bullshit? I desperately need items. Where is my shop? Oh, I guess there's no shop on this floor. Fuck it. Let's just fight the boss. This is either a glitch of the worst kind or... Curse of Darkness doesn't give you shops. Fuck, I took damage from that. Mom's panties, which is... Uh, mom's underwear, sorry, which is range up. Ew, I just called my mom's... Underwear mom's panties. That's just wrong. Let's move on. Okay, so I don't know where the shop on that floor is. I'm just going to assume that that was a bug. If we don't get another shop on this floor either though, I'm just going to assume that this is an additional effect of Curse of Darkness. I guess I can just look it up if I really want to, but I'm a bit lazy. I want to figure it out on my own. So let's see if this floor has a shop. That's an arcade down there. And arcades are also nice, they're very useful, but not right now. Actually, let's just go to the arcade and blow up some of the machines in there. It would only cost me a cent to come in here anyway. I already got back more than what I paid for, for the entrance fee. And there's also a blood donation machine on the right. Now, let's, let's use the blood donation machine just a bit right now. I think that's more than enough. We have enough uh, blood, uh, like we have enough money for now. If only we had a shop to spend this money at, right? Hmm, let's go into the big room. Oh my god, this is fucking terrible. Get the fuck out of there. What the fuck is that? It's a trinket, alright, but... Uh... Okay, first get the fuck over here. Now pick up the trinket. Blasting cap. What the fuck is a blasting cap? So blasting cap is a trinket added in the binding of Isaac afterbirth. What it does is that upon exploding, bombs have a 10% chance to drop a bomb pickup. It has no effect with bombs produced with Dr. Fetus though. You know what, I, do, I, don't, I don't have of Dr. Fetus and also I don't give a crap about that. I want the Jawbreaker just because the extra damn- Alright! Ah, the fucking Jawbreaker is giving me extra damage as well. I forgot about the tough love effect. That's so useful. It's not just the synth oil, it, it's also the jawbreaker effect. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, can I, no, let's use a bomb over here. 
That's a Cursed Skull. Yeah, I remember from the Flash game that Cursed Skull was not an item you want. It was not a trinket you wanted to hold on to. What? I forgot what it does. Oh, fuck. I'm taking a lot of damage. God damn it. Concentrate. What Kurt Skull did was that he teleported you out of the room into the previous room you actually cleared. The last room, into the last room you actually cleared. If you, whenever you take damage, if that damage results in half a heart worth of red health or something like that or less. Okay, let's move on. I really hate this room. I do think should stop firing if you already clear the room. I don't... I know that that's not how the game is supposed to work, but that's how I wish it worked. What the fuck are these fuckers? Okay, so there's a... Yeah, there's a lovely boss trap... A boss challenge room that contains Jesus juice, which is even more damage and also a range up. I really love the amount of damage we're doing. Like, this is insane. Oh, and Charm of the Vampire is also healing us. Oh, and Charm of the Vampire was also a damage up. We have so many damage ups. I need to... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I, I've never seen that creature before. And I don't like the look of it. It spawns Magus, though. And I don't like... Oh, fuck. It did damage to me. Stop doing damage to me, you piece of fucking shit. Okay, let's replenish our health. If we can. Where can we get uh, hearts? We Do we have no hearts on this fr floor? What the fuck? Where are my hearts? Alright, we still have Charm of the Vampire. That will heal us. But that complicates the matter because... I cannot keep track of the heals as well. It's too much for my brain. I cannot remember how much health we have, goddammit. What the fuck is this? Iron bar, damage up plus concussive tears. I don't know what concussive tears mean. Let's see, iron bar. So iron bar is a passive item. It does plus 0 0.3 damage. And it also adds a chance to shoot Concussive tears causing enemies to walk around randomly. Concussive tear effect depends on the luck stat and goes up to 100% at 27 luck. What's a concussive tear? Ah, it's confusion. Wait. Where the hell was it? It doesn't actually tell me what the effect is, but I'm going to assume it's confusion. Okay, so let's try to make this work. We are slicing through enemies like a hot knife through butter. Like, this shit is insane. They're just melting away with uh, because of our tears. Let's visit the... Oh, fuck. Do I... Yeah, let's do it. I think that's worth it. Even though it actually wasn't, let's let's pretend that it was worth it, shall we? Maybe the t fuck me. Do I wanna use spend my only bomb on trying to find the secret room? I don't think I do, honestly. I don't know how much health I have at the moment, so I'm not going to play to use the blood donation machine because I'm too scared that uh, I might deplete my health more than I should be. Because I don't know how much health I have at any point. I already lost track of that on the, on the last floor. I don't feel comfortable gambling right now. Now we're playing against Bombino. Oh my god, we're so melting through him. Although he's doing damage to us as well. Jesus Christ, we already defeated him. That was insane. We also got lunch, which is a HP up. Yeah, we probably have a lot of HP right now. Like, this is this shit is amazing. Let's move on. I 
I think we have a build that will allow us to defeat uh, Mom's heart if we even get to it though. I don't know if we'll be able to get to Mom's heart, but if we do, we'll do so much damage to it. it it's going to be insane. That was easy. We might actually... Uh, actually, is it Mom's heart? This isn't a regular run. This is a challenge run, isn't it? So I don't even know if the target is Mom's heart. It could even be Mom. And if it is Mom, then that's going to be quite nice. Because we won't have to go through that much pain. If it's just to Mom. Let's uh, unlock this. What the hell is this? What does the one dice do? Two of spades doubles our keys. Sure, let's use it immediately. What does the one room th do? I forgot about them. Let's uh, let's uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. Dice rooms, this is it. Dice rooms require two keys to open, depending on the number of pips imprinted on the face of the large red die embedded in the floor, or it's stepping onto the center of the die activates an effect. Dice rooms when spawning replace a sacrifice room that also could have spawned on the floor. They uh, have um, a higher chance of spawning uh, over a sacrifice room spawn if you have two keys. And in fact, it had up until and in fact it has since after birth process that dice rooms now have a small bandage in the corner of the large room die that also tells the effect of stepping on it. Does it? And uh, since uh, repentance, it has a new door, no longer sharing a door with vaults. What effect does it have, though? So it's effects. For one peep, reload, it rerolls Isaac's currently held collectibles into, eyes, into items from the treasure room item pool like the D4 would. Activated collectibles can be changed into passive ones, but... Uh, wait, collectibles? What was collectible? Let me look what collectible uh, is. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Like, I do not want. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is what I want to do. Let's let's not uh, waste our. Oh fuck! I did it anyway. So I think this randomized what? Yeah, this randomized our entire uh, item set. I don't want. I don't like that. I was doing so well with my damage, and now everything is ruined. I should never have walked on that. Although we're still doing significant damage, I think. Although we're still a bit... We're killing enemies slower than I, I feel like we... I like. Or maybe... Did, did it change our items or did it add items? I don't fucking know. I feel like it might have just added new items on top of what we already had. And if that's the case, that's that's fine. But uh, also I'm feeling slower for whatever reason. We still have Jesus juice. We have the dead bird. No, it changed some of our items. It definitely changed some of our items and it definitely removed some of our... Uh, it definitely removed some of our damage upgrades as well. So we're technically weaker right now than we were before, and I'm really sad for that. Like that was this was such a good run. We still had the concussion tears though.
apparently. Please tell me we all we have to do is fight up until mom. I don't want I don't feel like going through the womb. I don't wanna fight the womb. I all I wanna do is just defeat mom and not have to worry about mom's heart. If we have to fight mom's heart, we're well screwed right now. We do not have the damage we had up until this point, and I genuinely feel like we are not capable of defeating mom's heart anymore. That fucking dice room, man, it really ruined everything. I stepped on it by accident. I didn't even want to activate that, but uh, I ended up doing so by accident, and now I regret everything. Let's see if the secret room is over there. It was not. Let's go into the self-sacrifice room. It has a... Oh! Oh! We had a deal with the dead angel president. And this is Mitre. Blessing of Purity. I think what Mitre did, if I remember correctly from the Flash game, is that it replaced some red health, red health randomly with uh, soul hearts. Although, let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. So, the Mitre is a passive item. It grants a chance of converting any red heart pickups into soul hearts instead. An effect it had up until, uh, up until repentance so it was that it had a 50% chance to convert red hearts into soul hearts, and since repentance it ha only has a 43% chance to convert red hearts into soul hearts though. And, and an effect it has since afterbirth is that this item belongs to the Seraphim set. Collecting free items from the set will transform Isaac into an angel. Cool. Awesome. Okay, what else do we have? A troll bomb. Oh, fuck you. And Bob's Curse, which is five plus five uh, bombs, and also all our bombs become poison bombs. In fact, I think all the bombs in the game, period, are poison bombs from this point on. Which is interesting. Yeah, we definitely don't have the damage that we once had. I mean, for crying out loud, if it takes more than one hit. To kill a fly, that's just not the damage we once had. This is bullshit. Well, it's not bullshit, it's my fault ultimately, but... Uh, and I, I'll i be the first one... Oh, fuck. I'll be the first one to admit it. Like, I should never have stepped on that one dice roll. I screwed myself over. It's so sensitive, though. Like, I didn't even walk through the middle of the room. I just walked... Across the room and it's it still triggered the effect. Like that's bullshit. Friend zone, friendly fry. I think I've had this up until now. I don't think I need to look up its effect anymore. I think I can figure out what it does. Fuck you! Just get the fuck away from me. Okay, now we have a long corridor. We get a soul heart. All I can do right now is hope that uh, the target for this challenge is not mom's heart and it's uh, it's just mom. If if that's the case, we are... I don't want to say we're in the clear, but uh, I have confidence that we might be able to win this challenge on this challenge finally. So let's see which boss we'll be fighting this time. We'll be fighting against Reap Creep. What the fuck is Reap Creep? Oh, I think I fought this guy before. Yeah, he spawns wall crawlers or whatever the fuck their name is. I remember that. God damn, our damage is so low. It's taking so long to kill this boss. This is bullshit. I never should have reloaded my items. I know I'm, I'm like a broken record at this point, but I genuinely feel like I never should have rerolled my items. Fuck you. Just kill it. Just kill it already. Oh, fuck. How much health does it have? Is my damage really that low? This is taking forever. Okay, we get the box, which gives us a bunch of stuff. 
I'm definitely not uh, giving up on my job breaker. I need the extra damage. Like that's not even an option for me at this point. The priestess is pretty cool though. I can see forever. I don't know what that does. Uh, let's use the strength card and let's uh, pick up some extra health because okay, we, we, we're on full health, whichever that is though. Yeah, we're only up until mom. Okay, that's good. So we only have to defeat mom and this challenge is over. I think we can do that. Oh fuck, I should have picked up the priestess. Why did I leave the priestess behind? Am I... Oh, the priestess is actually such a good tarot card. Why did I leave it behind? Well, whatever. Too late for, for regrets right now. Okay, so uh, a charge for our spacebar item, which we do, we do not have. I really wish we had a spacebar item. Okay, so there's a mini boss fight right now. And if... Since, oh, right, I forgot to look for shops. I wanted to say, since we have a mini boss fight right now, that means that we won't be fighting greed at all. But I have seen no shops whatsoever in this game. I'm almost convinced... I, I'm not uh, almost convinced. I am actually fully convinced at this point that uh, Curse of Darkness also removes shops from the floors. Which is... Bullshit. Now I understand why this ch challenge is so fucking terrible. Like, this is... How do you even say this? Like, without shops, you're really fucking screwed, aren't you? Or is this a thing not just for Curse of Darkness, but for all challenges? If you're playing a challenge, you just cannot have any shop whatsoever. As a means to... As a precaution to prevent you from, uh, you know, from... Uh, Accumulating too much money That you would use to donate afterwards. Maybe that's the reason Oh, that will get wasted immediately. I'm sorry red uh, white heart. That was not my intention. I Don't think I like going through the Boss challenge room. Oh fuck you. All oh, right. That was yeah, that makes sense. Just die already, will you? What's this? Oh, panic button. Push in case of emergency. What does panic button do? So panic button... Is a trinket added in the binding of Isaac Repentance. It, act uh, it activates Isaac's item, active item just before damage would be taken. This still uses the item's charges, so if the item is not charged, the trinket will do nothing. Single use items will be consumed. Because the automatic item activation takes place just before taking would be damage, this trinket becomes very powerful when holding damage negating active items. Yeah, I don't need that. I, I don't have any active item to begin with. There's the treasure room. The treasure room contains a damage downgrade, tears up plus damage down, yeah. It's an extreme tears up though, so I think that the, that, ma that magic mushroom is actually worthwhile. Okay, careful not to... Wait, what the fuck is going on? Why are my tears not traveling? Excellent. Where's the boss room? I just want to get this game over with one way or another. I think the boss room has to be in this direction though. I could be wrong though. Let's use this pure on this next room. 
got the tears up, which kind of sucks. Okay, there's the mom boss fight. You know what? Screw anything else. Let's just go into the mom boss fight and do our best, shall we? Like, this is the last uh, room in, uh, in this challenge. So if we win this, we unlock, we, we can call this challenge beaten. Now, I, because of that, I already used my strength card. I don't know what's causing my tears to get deflected, though. Like, almost like I have my reflection on me. What the fuck is going on? Why are my tears... Did I pick up a bad item? Something is not right. God fucking damn it. Concentrate. Sorry, I will not be talking for a little bit because I need to concentrate on this fucking boss fight. I think I'm on the verge of dying. I do not want to die like this. Fuck this shit. Fuck, why are these enemies flying around like they're on fucking steroids? Keep on, keep on moving. Don't stop. If you stop, the food will just destroy you. Get rid of any enemies on the current floor. Okay, we managed to win. Jesus Christ, that was intense. Holy shit, that was hard. The rune of ha Hagolaz has been unlocked. God damn, that was a tough challenge. Jesus fucking Christ. It took us over the, almost an hour to finish, but uh, it was a time well spent. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, see you next time.